And welcome back to the second video of Lion Ball that's been made. And this is a return to Max and Steve's first debut of the Lion Ball series. I'm joined here with Hoy, and I would like to say if you do not know the rules of this game, do check out the first video because there is an explanation and you will be caught up and you come back to here. So Hoy, um, just explain quickly what it is that's happening right here. Yes, hello. First of all, welcome back everyone to the second half. Uh, yeah, so we've jumped into the second half now where Max is up 5-4. and four. And as we can move into this game, you know, starting off with less standard shots. Yeah. Max with two good shots. And you can just see here, he's just knocked Steve's ball out. Excellent shot. Yeah, and as you can see on that last shot we saw, um, that the yellow ball is slightly in the in the area uh that's on the edge of the table but because it's not fully in it doesn't count as a point which is important and we do see max's ball being knocked out but Ooh. unluckily steve's ball is just on the line again so that doesn't doesn't count towards his points doesn't count but steve has two balls close to the line oh maybe not so much that was a wonderful shot for max yeah max has managed to knock here. it both of them fully out and it does make it more difficult for steve uh, because now they're a bit further away from the end zone. But yeah. they're still right in front of him. He has the opportunity to bring this back. It's still oh, a close game, regardless of the score. Yeah, let's see what he does now. Okay, yeah. No, that... Nice shot, nice shot. He has managed to get one in, uh, but doesn't seem like he's got the other one in. Ooh, a very okay. safe shot here from Max. Safe shot. He's thread that through those other two balls. That's a pretty safe... It's well protected because if steve goes for his to knock his balls back in he can't get that one out yes interesting tactics and it's not near the black so it's not dangerous in that regard yeah it's an interesting that we see more and more tactics Ooh, appear that was a that was a good shot from steve he's managed to steve. tuck one of his balls behind max's ball and the other one is quite difficult for, for max to get out but he's gonna try it i think yeah, good equalizer. Ooh, Ooh, he, oh, just, unfortunate for Max. He did just touch the black and pot it as well. So that one, That's that a, one doesn't that, count. Yeah, that game goes to Steve. 5-5 five, five in the second half already. And it's even. Steve, he brought it back. He had a comeback at the beginning of the first half. Maybe he can do it again. Yeah, now I Max, Max just took a unorthodox shot there. Um, because you might see that he's gone right close to that black ball. And... If we remember from the rules that if you hit the black ball, that is your your game over there. You lose the point. So you might think, why is he not going to the the other side where Steve went? But I think tactically, if you can get it close to the black ball but not hit the black ball, it is safer. It's much harder to knock it out. It is much harder. We've seen a bunch of different tactics pop up. Like in the first half, we saw two very clear tactics. You have a play near the black ball or play near the pockets to try and bait the other person into hitting it into the pocket or the black ball. But in just the last game we saw, they they did neither. They just yeah. played quite aggressive towards each other. I think this game does force you to switch up your tactics per game because right, right here we can see Steve has to go aggressive. He's got only had one, well, he had one ball on the, on the, the table and he couldn't get any points from that. So he had to... Let's try and take a risk. Yeah. Oh, we see well, Max Steve's takes the response. Again. Yeah, very good Steve shot Steve just can't Max. catch a break. Yeah, I think Steve might need to try and reevaluate his um, his tactics because it seems that Max is getting his balls out quite regularly. Yeah. What, what do you think Steve's doing wrong then? I think that Steve isn't putting his balls close enough to the, either the black ball or to the, the hole. I think he needs to take more pre precise shots. I think he's putting them too close to the middle where it's easier for Max to get a clean knockout. Yeah. No, absolutely. I feel like I lost quite a few of Steve's win has been, you know, just freestyling it. He's been going quite aggressive and hoping for the best. Yeah. Max has definitely played a more tactical game. Makes sense. This guy invented this game. He's probably been playing it since he was two years old or something. Yeah, and he did have, you know, a four-hour session before this game, just mapping out all the routes the balls could uh, could take, 
using you know complex mathematics to and, and AI as well, of course. Oh to, yeah, of course AI. Yeah. To to oh. get the wins here, definitely not cheating. Definitely not. Interesting. I think what Steve tried to do there was to get more of his balls in the end, but it hasn't yeah. paid off in this one case. It hasn't paid off. Max with a good response, knocking both the yellows out. Yeah, and it's going to be very hard from Steve here. He's going to have to really think about what his next move can be. Honestly, he has a perfect lineup to get four yellows in right now. He's, if he's brave enough to go for it, I think he should. This is, this is what he needs to get back into this game. If he does put it in too quickly, though, he does risk either one of his balls going into the middle hole or, 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 or touching the block, just like that. Exactly like that. Game goes to Max. Well played. Yeah, that was a tough yeah. decision from Steve, but I think he did the right thing by, by taking the risk. Yeah, he had to go for a risky shot. Oh, this black ball placement is interesting. It's very close to the, to the pocket very here, meaning that if you can get it just like tucked behind that black ball, then you're very much guaranteed a safe ball. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that's what Max was going for. He was aiming in that direction. He is aiming in that direction. Steve uh, tried to go for the outermost ball, as we know is the last ball to hit. <laughs> oh, do you think uh, there's a, the, there's the oh. order of hitting the balls matter? Well, no, the... The line ball rules oh. state that you have to start from the middle and oh. work, work your way outwards. Just I, I think it sense. does make it does make it more interesting. That does means, make uh, it more interesting. Yeah, you can't do do a safer shot from the start. You have yeah. to you do have to do much more of an angle to get it tucked away. Whereas it's Absolutely. a lot easier to get it close if you start from the outside. But yeah, um, unfortunate for Steve. Max is up two games now. I still believe is. in him. He can pull this back. Ooh. Oh, oh a, a wonderful shot. No, actually, yeah. that does not benefit him at all, really. It kind of does in a way because it doesn't matter whose ball is in front of the hole. It just matters if the the ball gets knocked in. So in That's this case, possible. it does mean that Max can't play as dangerously as he might like because he might knock his own ball in and that would lose him the round. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. A little yeah, too much power on that one. That's going to be very difficult to knock that in and get another ball to go in to the the area. Matt's still Ooh. playing a dangerous game, though. He's really trying to box that yellow ball in. Yeah, I think he wanted to put a little bit more power onto that, get it just a bit closer to the cushion. But it's not a bad shot overall. No, Matt has played an excellent game throughout this whole series. Yeah, and uh, what do you think of that shot, Arnett? Uh I think that shot was really good. It was very cool. I think Max is really good. Well, well said, Arnett. Well said. Thank Honestly, you very much, Arnett. I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah. That that was Arnett for everyone who doesn't know. Yeah, um, I've heard commentary, Arnett. I'm sure you'll meet him more officially later on down the series. Definitely. Oh, nice one. Nice shot Steve. It does put Max in a interesting situation, but I don't think it benefits Steve that much. And no, he's equalised it 2-2. This is one of the best chances he's gotten so far in the second half. Definitely. It's interesting how they've not gone to the left side here. Uh, it is a very dangerous side, but I would have expected maybe at least one or two balls to go over there. So they've very much yeah. focused on the right pocket here. I feel as... Yeah, I feel as though... Depending on what the score is at, you know, if you're up a fair few points, you you can play it safe, you know, put a, put your ball elsewhere in the zone. Mm, but definitely. with them being, you know, constantly equalised back and forth, yeah. they have to play quite aggressive against each other. Ooh, good shot from Max. That was nice. He just got a ball out there. Remember that if a ball goes past that, that line at the back, that is out for the game. You can't put that ball back into the... Into the end zone. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Two balls left for Steve and one ball left for Max. But they are tied at the moment in this, this game. Oh, he's taking a Steve. very light shot. That playing is, a safe shot. Good. That okay. is good. He's, he's not taking too much of a risk there. And it's going to oh. be hard for Max to get rid of that, that bunch. Especially when Steve still has one more shot to take. I think Max's best bet is to somehow knock two yellows out if he wants to guarantee at least a draw. 
Yeah, but he could. Is... He could definitely get one of his balls in if he's careful. Okay, oh. Steve just has to play it safe, and he takes his game. He just has to get it in the end zone. He's thinking. He's thinking. Come on, Steve. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I necessarily would have gone for what he's about to. Just remember, like, if he got that red ball at the end, yeah. he wouldn't have got that. But it's, it has it worked out for him. Look. Steve oh. takes it. That's seven six to Steve. It. I'm telling you, Steve's bringing it back now. He did it in the first half. He's doing it again. Yeah, it it, it could be Steve's lucky day. He can definitely win this. Still, he's only one game behind. I mean, yeah, throughout this whole series, we've seen Steve play better and better, you know? Considering, you know, he's not as got much as experience as Max. Max is clearly, you know, a high ELO or, some, or whatever ranking he has for this. But yeah. Steve, he's doing, he's played a, a very good game. Oh, he has a, oh. just as I said that. Like, just as I said shot, that, he played one of the worst shots he could have <laughs> ever taken. Yes, <laughs> he did the worst move you ever want to make in this game. Is hit the black ball with your first shot. Unfortunate for Steve. 8 6 to Max. It is unfortunate for Steve. But, you know, Max could make that same mistake. Not that he has, though. He has made a very good and wise decision to. Very, very nice shot. To stick it on the, on the side with the black ball and put it by the hole, which is what we've already said is probably the best shot you can make at the start. Nice, nice. Okay. It's, oh, a bit it's a bit too, too much, much on it. Bit too far out for Steve. I don't know if Steve has been going to the gym too much, but he's putting a bit too yeah. much power on those. I've those seen shots. those biceps; they're popping, you know. They are popping. They're popping. He's got too much power behind the shots. He is. I mean, look at that. He wore short sleeves for a reason. Definitely. It's an intimidation tactic, I say. Yeah. See, I think. Max would have been much more intimidated if he wore, you know, a mankini or something. I, I think Max would have not been able to resist staring at him the whole game. Oh, absolutely. I think I think that's a tactic, you know. It's the mental game. Definitely. It is all about, you know, bad-mouthing the other player. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, oh that is wonderful good from Max. Max. He's managed to knock both of those both balls of out. Them out. And it's going to be very tough to get both of them in and knock out all three of Max's balls. I wonder what Steve's tactic will be. Steve to bring back. Definitely. But he's done it before and he'll do it again. Interesting. I think he might be going for both here. Oh. Ooh. That wasn't too bad. Okay. He did get two okay. balls in and he's made that red ball a bit easier to knock out. But having said that, it's still quite close to the black ball, so... It is a dangerous shot if he wants to go knock out that red. Interesting that's safe shot, shot from Max. Max. Safe shot. It was yep, safe that's... in the sense it went in the end zone, but not so safe that Steve couldn't knock it out at this moment. He's set up for a good knockout, but uh, that, not enough power, unfortunate. That is a bit strange. We've seen Steve go for quite powerful shots for much less, you know. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, Steve Max has just got a ball. Know his own power. Max has got a ball in either, either pocket now, so either pocket. it doesn't. It, it means both sides are dangerous. There's two balls on the left that are close to that pocket as well that are pretty much untouchable. Yeah. Steve doesn't have many options if he wants to win this game. Yeah, just as a reminder, if it does go to a draw at this point, it would be easier for Max to knock one of uh, you know Steve's balls out with the white ball than it would be the other way around. So I think Max is sitting in a quite comfortable victory if he doesn't mess anything up. Absolutely. Even with a good shot from Steve to knock two of them in, Max has still set himself up for a good, good win. Yeah, definitely. Hey, it's look. This could go to a draw. It's looking likely. It is. It is very close here. I don't think anyone's played a particularly bad shot in this no. round. They've all played it quite well. You know, all the balls are still in play. None of them are out, or you know, have been forced past the line. Yeah, and I think part of what makes this quite an easy uh you know setup to draw is the black ball isn't so dangerous in this case you can sneak things past it quite easily mm. i wonder why steve is deliberating here it's... Yeah, yeah he's he's really racking his brain right now thinking about it he's got the muscles and he's got the brain he's got it all steve yeah 
And maybe he'll have the first ever line ball championship as well. Wow, that was a very close shot from Very, Ryan. very good shot from Steve. I could definitely foresee that red ball dropping there, but luckily for him it hasn't. Mm. Interesting. Oh. I think Steve plays it safe here, goes for a draw, go to overtime. Yeah. I think he has to play for a draw here because if he can't right. if he doesn't get it in, then that's automatically a game to Max and he doesn't want to take that chance. He can't he can't go get be giving Max much point already. But it seems like he's trying to plan his next shot. He's maybe trying to look for a knockout, which is quite a dangerous tactic. But as we've already mentioned, his balls are, in a way, easier to knock out. But Max yeah, has made it hard for he himself. He might have to just play it safer, you know. He's running the numbers. He's played a safe shot. We're going for overtime now. He has drawn 7-7. Yeah, Max takes the first shot here. Um, I think he might be tempted just to see what he can get off by just hitting it directly in the middle. That's what I thought he might do. Ooh. Oh, that is, Ooh. That is very shot. dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> just a reminder to those out there watching, uh, if you do knock one of the opponent's balls out from hitting it with the white ball and you don't either touch the, the the black ball or pot another ball then you do win that round so here all steve has to do is get one of the red balls out of the end zone and he has another point to his name absolutely absolutely we've not seen many draws so far in the series which ball would you choose here Hoya, to to aim Ooh. for Ooh. Uh, I wasn't even sure, but that was a powerful shot from Steve. And he still avoided the blood ball. That was... Ah, uh, well, there we go. Uh, that Max is taking that point now. for Steve. That was a very nice, clean shot. There was not much risk there to, yeah. to Max there. Nice, clean shot, straight out. Max gets that one. Back to Steve. Yeah. He had already checked that with the AI, as I've said before. He... He has it, has it in his Google Glasses, um, which he's, he's, off, see, he's off camera now, as you can see. Unfortunate Ooh. for Steve. Hits the black ball, loses the game. It's 9-6 to Max. Max has taken match point. Just as a, a reminder, um, what, what I said uh, before about them getting one ball out is true. If, and this is a big if, if in the next shot they don't, hit another ball out so there is a chance to redeem yourself if you can get the opponent's ball out after you, your opponent's got your ball out then it keeps on going until there are no balls left in in the uh the zone or you can agree on a draw um if that is the case absolutely absolutely it's a very tactical game Ooh. Okay. Max is uh he's only one game away from winning here. He only needs ten full games to 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 win the whole tournament. But he is he's still playing fairly risky, I'd say. And it, it has Steve has uh taken full advantage of that risk. I feel as though Max is very confident in his skill as a pool player, you know. Of course he's he take, is. He's been hitting some very nice shots. Of course Max is uh, you know, he's confident because he invented the game of pool back in 1926. Yeah, he's he's older than that, you know. Yeah. Is that when pool was invented? Oh, uh, well, I wouldn't oh. fact check it because you know the but, history books remember it wrong. You know. Yeah, the history is wrong, isn't it? Ooh, I'm pretty sure is that touching. Is that it? It's so close to touch. Ooh, we can't see here, but it must close. not be. Okay, Steve. Two four two to Steve. You must be feeling the pressure now. It's, um, you know, very close to him losing this tournament, but yeah. you do not know. Max has a lot of leeway. Steve has to win four games in a row to win yeah. this series. And whereas Max, Max only needs one. He didn't play a good shot there. So it is all for Steve to win in this, this round. Yeah, Steve's quite far ahead. When was the last time we saw Steve with such a good lead? Never, really. Um, oh, never. Uh, unfortunate, Steve. I believe in you, lot. Yeah, we have one person believing in you. I am Steve's number one fan. Oh, no. 
I think Odd is Steve's number one fan. Uh, I think that Queen is actually Steve's number one fan. Oh, Thank that you, is... Odd. I appreciate that. That is interesting because Odd it messaged me earlier saying that he would, you know, just go with whatever Hoy said. You know, really, really. Yeah, that's because Odd knows I'm right. You know, definitely. Yeah, absolutely, he knows. Ooh. Oh, that is a oh, wonderful shot from Steve. That was very good. He's managed to get it tucked into that corner of his own ball and knock out a ball of Max's. So Max will have to go risky here, which is not something he's used to. He's no. usually in the opposite situation here. Exactly. Perhaps the pressure's getting to him. He's crumbling at his own game. Imagine. Wow. Oh, and he's pocketed his own ball. That Steve was very to rare to see. Look how it just slides past those yellow balls. If that was pulled, that would be a beautiful shot. It but would unfortunately be. for Max, it is not. So Steve takes that game, it's 9-7 to Max. It seems like his algorithm is not working today. Nah, uh, the AI ain't, AI ain't. Definitely. And that is not a verb, but we'll, we'll move. Oh, I've just invented a new word, man. Look, yeah, like just as Max invented the game. Yeah, exactly. History is being made here. I've invented a new word, Max invented a new game. History, my friend. Now. As we're still, we're very much towards the end of this this tournament here. Even if you know Steve was to lose this game, um, or to win this game, um, we'd still not have that many rounds left. So I'd like to say a big thank you to cousins for letting us film here and to you know offering us the best tables out in Canterbury. Absolutely. Mm, it is very tense, you know. I can see that they both yeah. are second guessing their shot shots, not just going for random ones. Max has done a few unorthodox plays, you know? Yeah. I'm not definitely. sure what he's going for. I can see what Steve's going for here. He's going for a knockout. He's going for the win. Oh. But Max, Cause... Max, I'm not sure what his game plan is. Oh, a good shot, a good shot. Lines up his other two balls quite well. Yeah, I mean, he could definitely shoot those other two balls into the, the end zone if he does the right play here. But it's Steve's turn first, and uh, we'll see what Steve does to make that more awkward for him. Mm. Yeah, absolutely, Steve. Proper thinking about it now. He can't afford to make any mistakes if he wants to bring this back. A safe shot, a safe shot. Was that the right play? Yeah. Perhaps it is. He's up for two. <laughs> Max with an excellent response, though. That was That's pretty good. Two balls in play and like in the one up. It is now all square. 4-4. Four, four. It could four, be four. anybody's game. Anybody's game. A few balls left for Steve. Two balls left for Max. Of course, at this point, if they were betting pink slips or if they were betting houses, um they would both be very nervous right here but as this is just yeah. you know the the debut and you know the best player at this current moment in, in the game it's it's only slightly tense it's only slightly tense but once again we saw a well max steve's incredible strength he knocked his yellow ball into the zone and straight back out yeah and that's not exactly what he would have aimed for but not at this stage yeah Especially with now, Max putting both his red balls back in the zone. And putting it in front of the hole, which... Oh! Yeah. Oh! Uh, is the contact. game over there? Unfortunate for Steve. Max takes the game. 10-7. A great game from both of them. A lot of close moments. Yeah. Excellent. And, excellent and we can play. see, just in this very one last shot, that it all changed because of the placement of the black, which is random. So... It could have been a very different game if that black ball was elsewhere. Absolutely. But yeah, a very good first debut. Um, Max getting 10 points and Steve getting 7. It was much closer than we, we imagined at the start. I think Max is the fan favourite. I think um, it's clear that Max is uh, a lot better at this game than the rest of us. He's more well versed. He yeah. takes the first ever championships of line ball. Yeah. Congratulations, and, um, Max. Yeah, Steve had never picked up a cue before in his life. This 
he, he actually didn't know who Max was. This is Steve from the street. Yeah, um, I swear we just picked him up off the street. I don't think his name's actually Steve. Yeah, no, we had to change that just because he didn't agree to the, the NDA that we wanted him to sign. But either yeah. way, thank you everyone for watching. Um, yeah. I'm sure there'll be more videos. I think the yeah. next video that has already been filmed and will be up on the channel at some point in the future is Max versus Chris, a new challenger. And we're we'll yes. very much excited to see how that pans out. Another uh, person we've just picked off the street to go definitely. against Max, the now reigning champion of Lineball. Will he defend his championship title or will he crumble and let Chris be the new champion? Adi, what do you think? Uh, uh, I think that Max will lose to Chris because Chris is really good. Interesting, interesting. I have no idea who this Chris is, but Adi seems to think I'll win. Yeah, and Adi, like, you might want to blow your nose because it does seem like you've got a bit of a cold. Uh, unfortunately, Adi has just stormed out the studio because of what you said. But either way, thank you all for watching the very first championship game of Live Ball. And we'll see you later.